Okay, now I'm going to show you how custom fields work. We're just going to grab these three custom field ID fields, copy those, and then just paste them into our products table. Alright, now we modify our newer edit post with upload file. We're just going to get rid of the comment brackets and down here it basically says to delete that. Okay, so these kind of explain themselves. This is going to be the field name for our custom field in WordPress. So for this we're going to say item, and then the value is going to come from the item field. This field right here is going to be one of our new fields, and then we're just going to repeat that. This one is going to be part number. Okay, now we'll just go ahead and upload that. I went ahead and opened the edit post so that we could see these custom fields because they're not necessarily going to be displayed. Okay, so here you can see that they're all working and fine. And then just to show you how this works, I'm going to go ahead and change this one to yellow and then do the post again. I went back to the edit page and I hit refresh. There you go. The reason that we need to store those custom field IDs is because if you don't store the custom field ID and you make a change like that, it's just going to create another row in your custom field and it becomes kind of a mess. So it's important that we have a place to store those custom field IDs.